Millions of farmers in Nepal have flowing water directly next to their agricultural land. But yet, these farmers struggle to take the water out of the river to irrigate their fields simply because their land is at a height compared to the river. Shortly after we identified this problem, we thought, hey, what if this is not a Nepali, but actually a global setting? So we started traveling and we found the same or very similar condition in many other countries around the world, including Ecuador, Spain and Indonesia. And what we also witnessed is that the most common solution to this problem is a diesel pump, which is not only very costly over its lifetime, but also polluting and troublesome to operate and to maintain. My name is Lena Budelmann. I'm one of the co-founders of Akista, and we think there should be a better solution than this. That is why we set out two years ago to develop a water pump that can harness the water flow in a river or in an irrigation canal to pump up water. The solution that we have come up with is based on the long-known scientific principle of a spiral pump, where a spiral is rotated and picks up water and air, and because of that, the weight of the water compresses air. And you add, an, you add pressure with every coil in the spiral, and for that reason, in the center of the spiral, you have a pressure which is, which is sufficient to pump up to 20 meters high at a flow rate of half a liter per second. And because the pump can operate all day long, that translates into 40,000 liters per day. All that is done without any greenhouse gas emissions and at no operating cost. And when we started out with Arkista, we thought, we, we pitched this idea to many people around the world, and they said, yeah, sounds, sounds really good, but it sounds too good to be true. We have to see it. So we started the development of the technology with a proof of concept version that you can see in the picture. We developed 10 of these units and we installed them in different parts of the world. Most recently, three months ago, we installed two pumps in Indonesia and Sumba Island. And I would like to take that example to illustrate how such a pump can change lives. This is Sumba Island. It's a very, very dry island, except for the banks of the many rivers that flow through there. And surprisingly, these rivers carry water throughout the year. So for that reason, most of the farming is done directly next to the river. And even though the government is subsidizing diesel pumps and fuel, it is simply too troublesome to carry that fuel from the main island of Java to Sumba. For that reason, people take these buckets to irrigate the land. And that takes them a lot of time and they struggle to keep up with the water demand of their plants. So for these reasons, people don't do commercial farming on the island. And it is a perfect scenario for us to show what our pump can do. So we selected a plot of barren land together with our partner organization. We installed a pump in the river and it pumped water to the field, around 300 meters in land and nine meters high. And only two months later, the land gave first crops, a harvest, and people could use these crops to sell it on the market. So it increased their income considerably, and they are now, of course, very excited to install more pumps and grow their commercial farming in the island. Next to that, we received hundreds of inquiries from over 50 countries in the world, not only developing countries where people need simply access to irrigation, but also Western European countries, such as Spain and France, because not because, yeah, because they want to cut down on the energy bill or they want to save water by drip, applying drip irrigation with our pump, or they want to pump simply more sustainably. We are very excited about these opportunities and we want to conquer the world with our pump. But how do we, as a small startup with a limited capital base, because we don't have raised any investment yet, how do we conquer such a huge and diverse market? First of all, we have to be able to produce our pump in very large numbers. However, the proof of concept that we build requires you to call up a host and you have to build a, a very complex supporting structure around it. So we managed to integrate all these components in one rigid body with a spiraling channel inside. 
And that this now patent pending innovation allows you to apply modern irrigation and uh, modern manufacturing technologies such as plastic molding so that you can produce a pump in high quantities at a standardized quality. You can customize the cross section of the spiral of every coil and therefore make the pump more efficient and you reduce the part count a lot which makes the pump very very light and it makes it very easy to assemble. We spent two years of researching and developing this part and I'm very proud to present today for the first time this new version of our pump in action. For the case you're wondering why I'm here today at Venlo, it's because we're testing this system currently in a river just around the corner. The test was set up together with a water board, a big thanks to them, of Pale and Mars Valley and we, it helped us a long way because we could show that the technological risk that is inherent to innovations like this is now addressed. So far so good, but how do we get this pump now all across the world to all the farmers out there? And to answer that question, we defined a three-phase growth strategy that we carry out in every country that we enter. We first start with a demonstration of the pump, as, we, as I showed in Sumba. We now use a network of these demonstrations that we created to remotely supply the pump and very soon we want to start scaling. And to do so we intend to, build, to localize important parts of our value chain in the country to create local employment but also to drive down the cost of the pump. Because for the first time here we want to target farmers at a cust as a customer and then it suddenly becomes very important how your pump compares to other pumping solutions that are out there in the market. Over the long run, our pump is cheaper than a diesel pump or solar pump. But that's only half of the story, because you also need to consider the initial investment the farmer has to make. And to our intended price of 1,000 euro per pump is more expensive than the 400 euro of a diesel pump. So we need to combine our technological innovation with financial products or business, business model innovations to spread out this initial investment. And only in that way we will be able then to really conquer the market. If we manage to do so, we don't only sustain a, gro a healthy growth as a company, but we also keep the balance to our customers in enabling them to grow. And at the same time, we contribute to three of the major challenges that our society faces today, which is water, food and energy scarcity. Only through the demonstrations of our pump, we have directly benefited more than 300 people and we intend to make it many more in future. And in that sense, we are not looking as a company only at profitability, but we are looking at prosperity of the society as a whole. That is what is our idea worth spreading, what drives us, the team of Akista, our advisors, and the people that have contributed in achieving our goals along the way. But of course, it is not only about what we think about our pump, but what do our users think. And their one voice particularly stood out. Our ambition is to make every user and all of our customers as happy as him. And if you, can, if you feel that you can contribute to the global scale-up of our technology, don't hesitate to get in touch with us and join us on our mission of innovating for impact. Thank you. <laughs>